What will the world look like 40 years from now? The University of Southern California's School of Cinematic Arts brought together some of IBM's most distinguished scientists and asked them to imagine the world in the year 2050. The event was hosted by USC professor Richard Weinberg, who explained why the university and IBM jointly looked into the future for the second year in a row. We cross-pollinate, uh, you know, the creative spirit and talent uh, in our students, faculty, and alumni in, in our school with IBM's legendary research and <coughs> other capabilities. Uh, you know, great things are sure to follow and new ideas will hatch and exciting conversations will happen and great sparks will fly. IBM fellow Don Eigler believes the work underway now that allows people to control prosthetic devices using only brain waves opens the door to many more possibilities in the future. Where people are beginning to control uh, pros body prosthetics uh, by implants into their brain. This field is going to grow. It's clear that there's a strong medical motivation and, and life motivation for people with disabilities um, that is driving this field. If that's the output from the brain, if we can do output, I, speaking as a physicist and not as a medical professional, we can do input. Irving Valdosky Berger, Chairman Emeritus of the IBM Academy of Technology, said to look for big changes in the way we produce and distribute energy. A number of people have pointed out that if Edison showed up today, he would recognize the electric grid because it hasn't changed much in the last hundred years. Well, it, it's true. I mean, that, that it hasn't changed that much. Now there is a whole initiative to develop smart grids, to put sensors all over the grids and manage it better. And our buildings 40 years from now will be very different, according to Melissa Sefkin, an anthropologist. We'll see buildings <coughs> with interfaces or, or surfaces that um, respond to, say, the emotional mood of the people in the environment. It's, it's a day on day. People are worried about the economy or whatever. You'll see that reflected in surfaces. IBM research scientist Tom Zimmerman talked about the final frontier. You know what? Space is not the final frontier. It's the ocean. That's what we're going to be really working on. Instead of sending mass out there, which is really hard, two-thirds of this world is water. And there's a lot more water here than on like the moon and a lot of other places. This is a really good planet, so we don't want to mess it up. Uh, so I predict there'll be a lot of, uh, that's a great place to um, uh, do some uh, building and farming. One prediction from IBM fellow John Cohn is that computers will disappear. And the reason that they're going to disappear is because of speed, storage, and connectivity. And they aren't going to really disappear, but they're, going to not, they're no longer going to be in a room where you can go visit because they'll be everywhere. So from a speed standpoint, I mentioned that we had gone up maybe a factor of 16,000 in the last 40 years. Well, best predictions, when you actually look back even 100 years and you look at the amount of compute power that the world needs and that the world is willing to buy for $1,000, and you actually plot that up to about 2050, we're looking at a, an increase in throughput, not in speed, but an increase in throughput of about one billion. <laughs>